it's uh, Sunday evening on the 18th of August. I've just got back from Partizan a little while ago. Went up there with um, Ken, the eccentric man, John from Strong Oak Painting, and uh, Ken's son-in-law. Uh, all the way up there, one to Newark, and uh, back again tonight. So, um, this is uh, the uh, details of Partizan. It's the second time I've been. I went uh, to the first one in May. Uh, which uh, I did a bit video about and um, this is uh, from today's um, now the uh, the layout and the participants I think were pretty similar to uh, those that were there in May um, to the extent that I think more or less everybody that was there uh, was in the same position same position of their stand as uh, last time um, but it's uh, I mean it's a full hall. Uh, looked like it was well attended, and um, managed to uh, bet, get a few bits and pieces that I've uh, been after for a little while. So uh, all was good. Although um, the whole day on my feet, um, I'm certainly feeling it now. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the leaf that you got when you you got in, uh, as well as a leaflet for next year's two shows. Um, so uh, if you're a partisan attender, those are the dates for next year. And um, a free figure, uh, which is a nice touch. Um, if I can get it to focus. Hello. Hmm. Sorry about that. Um, so it's... Uh, a figure of Karl Marx. And uh, I don't know if you can see that, but uh, he's holding a pistol. So I'm not uh, entirely sure how I'm going to incorporate Karl Marx into any of my wargaming, but um, anyway, nice. it's always nice to get out a little free figure. So let's have a look at the bits and pieces I've got. So I've got the latest issue of uh, Wargames Illustrated. Uh, which will be out uh, later this week, I think. And on the front cover, we've got some uh, free lounge necks from Warlord. Um, not a period that I've ever been interested in, so I'm not sure what will happen to those. Uh, I got one book while I was there, and this was mentioned by somebody, I think, on the Bolt Action, or possibly... Um, What's the other one? Um, Chain of Command. Um, one of the Facebook pages. And I did have a look at it on uh, Amazon and uh, thought about getting it because I've got a uh, particular interest in uh, Waffen SS type stuff. And quite a large library of uh, books. And this looked like uh, an interesting addition. Uh, and I saw it on uh, one of the book stands there. Um, so it's. Um, uh, detailed um, sort of war diaries from two particular uh, units, the SS Panzer Regiment uh, 12 and the SS Panzer Abdomen 12 uh, in Normandy in 1944. Um, so there's lots of uh, specific information about the units, what they did on particular days, entries from their war diaries, uh, the equipment that they used, um, casualties, battle casualties, tank strength with numbers, uh, equipment. Um, so I think that's going to be quite an interesting little read. Um, it's a useful addition to my uh, World War II library. So what else have we got? So it wouldn't be a war game show without some uh, Victrix plastics. And um, I've got some additions to my ancient armies. So I've got tons of Romans, um, but nothing to go, uh, or not much to go against them. So I've um, got some Celts and Gallics. Um, I will do um, an unboxing video on uh, some of the items that I've got that I haven't bought before. But uh, I've got the chariots. I think this is quite a new kit. Uh, three. Uh, three chariots and uh, 20 figures. 
Um, so um, that's the first one from Victrix. Then I got some more uh, Armoured Warriors. Uh, 30 Organic Warriors. And I've got some unarmoured uh, Gallic Warriors, so 48 figures in this case. Um, so 30 figures for 22 quid, 48 figures for 24 quid. So uh, compared to the previous kit, that uh, looks like good value. So the next batch is from um, War Bases. Um, I've got quite a few of their stuff in the past and uh, was wanted to stock up on a few uh, different bits and pieces, some of which I had before. So um, the chairs, I bought a couple of tester sets at Partizan back in May, so I bought a few more from our Wild West. And um, I've got to try out the, uh, the single bed as uh, the Wild West uh, has quite a few hotels and uh, some extra scenery there um, some general stuff, so I've got uh, a well, village well and uh, some animal shelters or pigsties sort of general uh, scenery um, I saw um, this is from my Napoleonic stuff, which I haven't done for a while, but um, I thought I'd give one of these a go, um, a cannon. So uh, you get the war base MDF uh, superstructure and the the, uh, the metal gun barrel. So that looks quite interesting and uh, a limber to go with it. So we'll see what that's like. Then I've got some um, wagons. So I've got an ox cart. Um, some peasant cart. So these ones have got the sides, solid sides. So I've got three of those, and I've got uh, another peasant cart with the sort of ladder type sides. Um, again, general stuff can be used over a number of uh, periods, I think. I've got uh, a Roman uh, raider. Um, wagon and uh, what have we got here we've got uh, a Roman Coro Ballista which is basically the ballista on a wagon and what's this a hay cart again general general uh, stuff for multi periods and then I've got some Roman buildings and a medium store uh, the stone granary and uh, a Vicus workshop. So that's my war basis stuff. I've got some more paintbrushes. Um, ABC paintbrushes. Uh, this is uh, him or them. Um, a selection of all sorts of different uh, brushes. And, and um, there was doing uh, there was sort of several sets uh, put together for a, a bit of discount. Uh, and I went for this one, which has four sets of paintbrushes. Uh, I think bought separately, it was £26. Um, but bought all together, I uh, got it for 20 quid. So uh, that was quite nice. And, and uh, I have how much detail you can see there. Um, not sure why my phone isn't focusing properly. Um, but a variety of, of paintbrushes which you'll see me through the rest of the year hopefully and um, a nice little touch was um, a couple of keyring additions um, not entirely sure what that is uh, and um, a nice little um, bottle opener for the keyring oh come on phone Let me um, see if I can put a, another light on, see if that makes any difference. Yeah, that's better. 
Um, yeah, nice little uh, freebie from ABC Brushes. So this was the first purchase of the day at uh, the first call stand. And uh, it's some artillery crews, World War II stuff. There we go. Um, so since I've been 3D printing uh, some artillery, I don't have any crews to go with it, and uh, I saw this by chance, uh, so I picked up three sets. Um, five figures, four figures, and another five figure set. So uh, that should give me enough for uh, a few artillery pieces. And I think this is the last purchase of the day. Again, went back to the first course stand to uh, get some uh, 13th century uh, cavalry um, knights mounted figures. So four uh, riders and horses and shields and weapons. And they looked uh, lovely painted up on the um, first core uh, stand. If I remember, I'll put a photograph up. And uh, four foot soldiers uh, from the same period, same set. And to go with them, I've got some um, some uh, shields from uh, Little Big Men transfers. So I've got some Teutonic Knight uh, shields and some General Heraldic shields to go with those. And uh, lastly, these were the uh, the, the ones that I was um, really after, having bought some um, Empress modern British and Taliban at uh, Partisan in May. I wanted to uh, to get some more, so um, I will do a proper unboxing on these. Um, but this was uh, the US Marine Corps, and there's five sets there. There's a nice little deal, um, if you bought four sets, you got the fifth one, there's four in a set, you got the fifth one, and uh, the cost of four sets was uh, a quid off, so um, that was quite a nice little extra, uh, so I managed to get, I got five sets really for the price of uh, four. Um, and I got some, uh, some additions as well, so I got some some insurgents uh, to go with my uh, Taliban. I've got two sets of those. Um, is this the other set? Oh no, this is a Taliban mortar. And then I wanted uh, a couple of snipers. Um, so I think uh, for the American Marine Corps um, these, I think, are actually Special Forces um, Sniper Unit. And uh, what did I get for the British? Um, so I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. They didn't seem to have a, a sort of sniper as such, but um, you get the guy uh, standing uh, firing a general weapon get the guy uh, lying down with his uh, modern binoculars and you get um, a sniper rifle so uh, whether that um, whether I use that as uh, stick it near the guy lying down or um, somehow cut the rifle out of the guy standing up and replace it I'm not sure but um, that's to go with my British um, and then I got, uh, I wanted a um, explosive detector. So this uh, came with a in a set of four. So you've got the mine, mine detector, um, which is separate in there somewhere. Um, oh, there's the, the foot of the mine detector. Uh, oh, there's the, the shaft. Um, you get a dog handler and a, and a dog. 
and you get two uh, two troops. And then um, what have we got here? Yeah, we've got uh, oh, this is um, another one with a uh, a set of three troops. Uh, four troops, uh, one of whom could carry a mine detector over the, uh, his shoulder. So you get the uh, mine detector in there. And then this is the other insurgents pack. So I'll do, um, I'll put those together and uh, do an unboxing video for those because they're, I really like um, the Empress figures. So I was quite pleased to get those. So I think that's uh, everything that I, uh, I did at parties and today. Um, had a nice ice cream from the stall outside. Uh, met a couple of guys um, on the uh, blogging or the YouTube forum, one of whom was um, God's Own Scale, the 6mm chap, and one or two others uh, whose names escaped me. But um, yeah, a, a long day, tiring day, but um, plenty of stash. Thanks very much for watching.